Hey YouTube, Tom here, just uh, well, chilling out on the deck again. Uh, had some rain this morning, but then it cleared off, and uh, so I ran over to Uptowns this morning and hung out with the guys over there, and uh, smoked a few cigars. I've been on a cigar kick this week. Smoking a an Oliva V Lancero. They're a uh, the Series V is a five, it's a five, but we call them Oliva V's. Uh, as far as the Levas go, it's probably the, my favorite. Um, they have some other lines, but this is probably my favorite. And I, I love this size. The Lanceros are always kind of nice for when you're driving. Uh, kind of easy to handle in the car. Um, drink a little, a little Shiner Bach with it. And did a little cigar shopping. And uh, I'll show you what I picked up. I bought a... Uh, a La Florida Dominicano, uh, I'm sorry, La Florida Dominicana. It's the Double Claro. This is a Candela. Um, I haven't tried their Candela. It's a, uh, they're green, in case you can't tell from the from the compute uh, from the monitor here. Um, I've had Candelas. I like Camacho's. Camacho has a very good Candela, uh, but this one's from La Florida Dominicana. Picked that up today, and I bought a. Oh, I'm not even going to try to pronounce this. It's a Taiwahe. Uh, I'll let you read it. Adam. It's from 2006. And I'm not sure how to pronounce that, so I'm not even going to butcher it. It's about enough of my southern accent. <laughs> and I picked up a... These are also from Taiwahe. This is a La, La Casita Criolla. Criolla. And another very good cigar from uh, Taiwahe. And an EP Carrillo, another real good cigar. These are kind of some that I normally pick up when I go over there. And one of the Tatawahe, it's a Lancero Black Label. I don't know if you if you find these, definitely pick them up. Uh, it's a little milder than their other cigars, but packed full of flavor. They're outstanding smokes. Uh, the Lancero Oliva V is probably one of my when I smoke cigars regularly, it's one of my, I would say, I always pick one up whenever uh, whenever I go cigar shopping because I always smoke them. Now, sometimes with a Lancero, you do get a lot more of the flavor from the wrapper, which is what I like about them. Uh, one thing I don't like is you do end up having some draw issues. I kept having to cut some more off the cap. Um, I ran a needle through the end, and as you can see right here, it's canoeing on me, so getting some burn issues there. Uh, the wind out here is not helping matters much. I actually got to ride around with the top down since the sun came out. Uh, actually, I'll tell you what, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna pause this for a second and run and get my lighter because I can, that drives me nuts. So, um, one second, you won't know I'm driving. So I'm back and got my lighter. I don't know why I brought my cutter with me. Um, this is the Zycar cutter. Uh, Bought this when they first came out. This is back when they were using the uh, the German blades. Uh, Zycar makes an outstanding cutter. They're, um, the nice thing about Zycars, uh, just like even with their lighters, they have a lifetime warranty on these. So if you ever see them and you're trying to find a cutter or a lighter and you go, you know, I don't want to pay that much for one. I'd just rather have a cheap one. Uh, just let me assure you there's no such thing as a cheap cutter. And I'll tell you why. You can kick you up a little plastic single blade cutter for free or with a purchase or, you know, two bucks. But why risk damaging a cigar, uh, causing a split or causing the, the cap to crack on you, and you will have tobacco in your mouth. It's horrible. So there's no such thing as a cheap cutter, so keep that in mind. Um, love these. Uh, never had had that one replaced. My Zycar lighter I have had uh, replaced three times now. No questions asked. Uh, this is the Bugatti, and you can see it's beat all to hell. And that's because I use this a lot. Um, just a real good lighter, pipe, uh, cigar lighter. I wouldn't, no, would not use that on a pipe, so. Um, so I'm just enjoying my last little bit of freedom. I know I keep talking about it a lot. Uh, I do miss my wife. Uh, we've been married 20 years, so we're at that comfortable level, level in our marriage where, you know, we can each go different places and uh, we trust each other. I've been to Vegas with the guys. 
uh, without her, she's been to my, uh, she's flown all over the globe by herself. You know, we, we have a lot of trust in our marriage, which is a good thing. Um, and uh, just enjoying a good beer and a cigar all on the deck. You can't see my, I had to put my umbrella up on the table here, but the wind is. We may pick it up. So. Um, Shinerbach, great beer with a cigar. So, uh, Another beer I enjoy with a cigar, I, I love black and tans. And that's a real black and tan where you use Guinness and Bass. Um, uh, there's other variants of that. That's probably one of my favorites. But that's usually a wintertime drink for me. It's just kind of heavy. Guinness is kind of heavy. Uh, in the summertime, I like something milder. Uh, smoke, I drink a lot of Yazoo uh, Dos Perros, which is a, a very good beer brewed here in Nashville. If you haven't tried it, let me know, and I'll try to maybe I can send you guys a bottle of it uh, to try. Uh, it should be available in the southeast anyway. But I had a few minutes to kill uh, before I have to run to the airport to pick her up. And so I figured I'd do a video. So you get a few minutes with me. So, uh, probably won't be doing a video this evening. I may get one in tomorrow. I've got. I've taken my dog to a, there's a, I think I mentioned it the other day in a video, there's a program where they take pit bulls and bull breeds. And sh um, this is a walk downtown Nashville where you, you bring them out. It's to... Uh, raise awareness for people that are scared of bull breed dogs. You know, there's a lot of bans on pit bulls and they're really outstanding animals. I'm totally against dog fighting, things like that. Um, they're such a sweet dog. I mean, there's just, I couldn't imagine, even my Staffordshire Bull Terrier, that's considered a, a fighting breed as well. Uh, they were real pops, a lot of people fight them and that dog is, I couldn't imagine hearing one of them dogs crying in pain. So if you guys uh, condone dog fighting, you can unsubscribe me because I have no no uh, love for that whatsoever. But uh, you know, it's just to raise awareness, let people see the dogs uh, being well behaved. You know, you get a lot of bad press with them, so it's a good opportunity to bring them out and let people see just how how good of a dog they are. I know I talk about dogs a lot on my videos, so uh, they're just such a a major part of our family. So, and I know a lot of you guys have have dogs and I know you feel the same way so I'm not telling you anything that you don't know so I may I may get a video in I may not hell I might I might take a cigar and go with me downtown tomorrow and if I do that I'll maybe I'll make my wife carry the video camera and videotape us while we're downtown Nashville that might be kind of interesting for some of you guys that's never been to Nashville burning good now so see just stick with it for a minute they'll straighten out usually sometimes if you get a bad cigar this is from uptowns they're They've got a very good humidor over there. Their humidity level is perfect. I never have problems with cigars from there. Uh, one of the few places I'll actually buy cigars and smoke them directly after I get them. I smoked uh, a Tatawahe uh, Fausto while I was there today, and that was just delicious. I did smoke a pipe today. I, uh, I had my Dunhill this morning with some early morning pipes, so I haven't completely gone back to cigars. I'm not going to bail on you guys yet. I'm still a pipe smoker. I had a long conversation on Skype last night with uh, Polish Piper. I'm going to tell you, that guy is by far one of my favorite YouTubers, and it was just a pleasure to kind of just sit and shoot the shit with him. He, we, I think we laughed just just over some dumb stuff. I mean, he's got, he has a sick sense of humor like I do, so I know we'd get along great. Um, but that was fun, so uh, I was trying to get in touch with uh, Flanker Tanker. I hadn't, hadn't found you on, uh, on Skype, and I hadn't seen you on YouTube, so... Uh, if you see this, uh, just know I've been trying to catch you, and I know that uh, um, Galen. I know. I know. I'm sorry, Galen. Grayson, I know that you're uh, um, not feeling. I know you're feeling under the weather this weekend. You and your your girlfriends. So I hope you guys get to feeling better soon. Man. But uh, yeah, these are a little easier to come by. I know the Tatuajes, uh, a lot of places don't sell them online. I know that there are a lot that do. A lot of your local tobacconists doesn't care. It's my favorite boutique brand. Um, but the Olivas are easy to find. So if you ever guys find these online, uh, the Double Toro is a good a good uh, Vitola of these. And But I just love these Lanceros. I, I could smoke 
I could probably smoke three of these a day easily. But, and uh, a couple of you commented about the grill. That'll be fired up this evening unless she just wants to go out to eat tonight. Um, or if it starts to rain, it looks like we might get some weather after all. So there's some dark clouds, but the sun's out and it's 80 degrees. So hopefully, hopefully the rain's passed us over today. But it was nice just hanging out today. I didn't do any work today. I just hung out at Uptowns. And those guys over there, if you've ever been to Uptowns in Nashville or if you ever come through Nashville, you definitely got to check them out. That is a, a fun place to, if you're a guy, it's, it's just like, uh, it's like a Chuck E. Cheese for grown men. I mean, you'll, you'll have a blast if you ever go there. Uh, they don't sell beer or anything, but you can uh, be wild be. You can take your own bottle or you can take you some beer in there. Those guys will treat you right. I looked at some uh, state pipes they had. Uh, couple of meerschaums but and I was this close to buying but I actually made it out of there without a purchase so I did good well sorry I bought cigars but a lot cheaper than a um, another pipe for right now so with that said I'm gonna wrap this up I'll probably see you guys around on YouTube and I'll probably get another video up later this weekend maybe or if not I'll see you guys Monday um, so with that said, I'm going to wrap this up and sit here and enjoy this last hour or two of bachelorhood. And I'll see you guys around on YouTube.